Local organizations are teaming up to help alleviate overcrowding at Louisville Metro Corrections and address disparities in the cash bail system. It comes as states like Illinois are eliminating cash bails altogether. Throughout the summer, Louisville showing up for racial justice and the bail project have been canvassing neighborhoods, educating people about Louisville's cash bail system. I would say that this is an issue that affects all poor and working class people and especially communities of color. Right now, the bail project estimates that 60% of the people inside Louisville Metro Corrections are there because they can't afford their bail, even those as low as $25. That can leave people behind bars for months before ever being convicted of a crime. Unfortunately, the folks who can't afford bail wait in jail until their trial, oftentimes losing their jobs, losing their apartments in the process. While rich people can pay a bail and go home. People shouldn't be held unless it's absolutely clear and convincing evidence on why they need to be held. Mayoral candidate Shamika Parrish Wright runs the Bail Project, an organization that helps pay bail for those who otherwise couldn't afford it. This gives people a, a, a fighting chance to, to answer up to their charges and also get out and, and, and continue their lives. The organizations are now going door to door, bringing the issue to the people as they prepare to vote on Jefferson County judges next year. About three to three out of four or four out of five people who open the door and talk to us are signing a postcard to Louisville judges saying that they'd like to see them stop using cash bail. I never would have even considered this to be an issue, honestly. After learning more about the issue, Kelly Hamilton is now thinking about what she would do if she landed behind bars. I think that that's an issue that I wouldn't be able to afford to like I would be stuck in there. So. And I think a lot of people around here might experience the same thing. 